Hello everyone, I'm Harry, welcome to my channel, and today we're going to look at the brand new Compressor Mini from Keely Electronics. So before we get started, if you like this demo video at any point, please leave a like, comment and subscribe, and hit the little bell notification for me as well. It really does help me out a lot, and that way you won't miss out on any of my future uploads. There's going to be affiliate links down in the description to every piece of gear I use in this video and to record my videos. These do help support the channel out further, so I'd really appreciate if you go and check them out. So the Compressor Mini has been released to celebrate Keeley's 20-year anniversary, which is incredible in the pedal world. One of Keeley's most popular pedals, and what he's really famous for is his compressor pedals. Now in the Compressor Mini, you've got all that great Keeley compressor goodness in a really small package. So we've got an increased sustain range for even more subtle compression, which I really like. There's an also blend to enhance clarity and night definition, a new transient release time that makes humbuckers and single coils pop. It also has an automatic time recovery system, which is a treble clarifier for high compression settings. And we also have a built-in preamp for amazing guitar time. Now the pedal only draws 10 milliamps, which is really great. On the front of the pedal, we have two basic controls, a level that can be set to unity or even boost the front of your amp or drive pedals, and then a compression which sets both the compression and sustain of your input, and then a fit switch to turn it on and off. Now, I'm not usually a huge fan of compression pedals because they can be over the top, but the Keeley Mini Compressor is really subtle, which is perfect for me personally. We're gonna check it out clean running into an amp with some single coils because that's what I think benefits from compression most is single coils, but it also works great with humbuckers. And then we're gonna run the compressor into a drive pedal so you can see how the compression can kind of polish up your guitar time as well. So the amp I'm using today is my 68 Custom Pro Reverb, which is one of my favorite clean pedal platform amps. The guitar I'm using is my Matmull S Classic, which is one of my favorite vintage style Stratocasters. So let's get straight into the demo. So the S Classic, straight into the amp, sounds like this.
So there we have it. That was a look at the brand new compressor mini from Keeley marking their 20 year anniversary. They're really famous for their compression pedals and for good reason, they are really killer. And this one for me is perfect. It's a lot more subtle with the increased sustain range, which is really good for me personally. Of course, you've got the auto blend to enhance clarity and night definition, the automatic time recovery for high compression settings to make sure you've got that treble content and a built-in preamp. And of course, on the front, you've got two simple controls, the level that you can match at Unity or even boost the front of your amp or drive pedals and the compression that sets by the 
compression and sustain if you're input. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm not usually a huge fan, but when compression can be really subtle, I actually do like it, mainly for giving you a bit more sustain, but also polishing up your playing dynamics if you need that, say with a spiky guitar like a Stratbridge pickup. But let me know down in the comments what you thought of the compressor mini by Keely Electronics and if you go and pick one up for yourself. Again, there's going to be affiliate links down in the description to every piece of gear I used in this video and to record my videos. These do help support the channel out further, so I'd really appreciate if you go and check them out. If you did like this demo video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the little bell notification for me as well. It really does help me out a lot, and that way when I'm starting any of my future uploads. Other than that, go onto my channel, check out some of my playlists, I have plenty more lessons, covers, gear demos, how to sound like videos, and anything guitar related. As always, I've been Harry, and thanks for watching.